Hey, I'm Danny. I'm hiking the Pacific Crest Trail from Mexico to Canada. I'm 1450 miles in. That's a uh, 1450 miles in. And uh I just <laughs> I just cleared out all the stuff in my tent to get moving today and it started to drizzle. <laughs> so now I'm in this conundrum of technically I can hike in the rain. And it's not raining that hard. But also, I'm in a tent, and it's really dry, so I don't know what I'm going to do, just because I feel extra lazy today. Um, also, as fate would have it, last night, my uh, my air mattress went from, I think this might have a hole in, to, in it, to, oh no, this definitely has a hole in it. <laughs> I had to like, I woke up and blew it up like three times before I was like, no, I'm just going to sleep on the ground tonight. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out, which it's funny. I did drag it into the shower when I was in Bernie at the church to, sh to try and find like air bubbles just to find the hole. And I found nothing. Um, but I'm not the first person to say that. Like trying to find the leak in a shower is apparently way harder than using a tub or something like that where you can submerge it. So I'm not surprised. Uh but yeah, but now I have a conundrum where it's 50 miles to Dunsmuir or Mount Shasta, whichever direction I decide to hitch. And uh, actually, I should check which town has a better gear store. Ooh, that's going to be my decision now. Whichever town has a better gear store, that's where I'm going. And I'm going to get, I'm probably going to get a new mattress and just mail the current one home um, and try to fix it at home. I, I, Honestly, it's a $200 mattress and I'm not going to throw it in a hiker box or something like that because it's really nice when it works. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm, yeah, we'll figure that out in a bit, <laughs> but it seems like I'm going to be sleeping on the ground again tonight. So I'm going to pick my campsite very carefully because <laughs> I don't want little rocks in my back. Uh, yeah, it is starting to rain a little heavier. I think I'm going to pull my bag back in uh i've got my long sleeve on i think i'm gonna put my my zip my pant legs back on and just kind of bundle up and uh yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see i'm surprised how indecisive i am Well, I got moving. <laughs> I started with a raincoat, but got too hot. It was drizzling, it stopped drizzling. Now it's drizzling again. Regardless, I'm moving. In all honesty, it's kind of hot out here, so a little bit of cold drizzle is kind of nice. And uh, the fact that the sun is not out is really nice. So if it stayed exactly like this all day, it'd be wonderful, so. Here's to hope it. Oh, this looks like it could be good. Oh, wow. Windy and drizzling, but still spectacular.
It's still going up. That was actually the wrong way, but well worth the view. So I went up that way since PCT usually just goes right up at up ridges and stuff. And I just threw in some of these rocks here to help people stay on track next time. Also, there's a little sign right here that I completely missed. <laughs> So the rain picked up a little bit, but it's still a drizzle, which is perfect. Uh, I could actually hike in this all day. Although my socks are wet, I'm not too excited about that. But it's, it's pretty warm. Uh, I mean, the water makes it a little bit chill, and walking through the wet brush gets you very wet. Uh, but yeah, I could do this all day. No sun, all shade, warmish temperature, cool uh, water cooling you down like yeah I'm in I've I've got a what was it a, I started with I think a 10 mile hike to water I've got four and a half left so uh, we should be there two hours Hmm, well I've got to go this way, and regardless, I'm going to scare this bunny. Yeah. Alright, well, you, you got to run off the trail. This is the way that I'm going. Oh, he jumped high that time. See all those bushes over there? I just had to trudge through them and they're very, very wet. <laughs> Beautiful lush landscape though. Yeah, let me show you my pants now. <laughs> when I walk, my shoes go squish, squish, squish. <laughs> it's not because it's raining hard, because it's not. It's from walking through those bushes and basically having my pants immediately soaked and all that water running straight down to my shoes. Look at those way in the distance. I was just hiking through all this, and I just got to this. I'm trying to figure out if it's fog or smoke. I don't think I smell anything, but if I've been smelling it the whole time, I might not smell anything. So, well, we'll see. This is like the fifth beautiful stream in the last hour and look at the size of these leaves like you get over like and those ones are even bigger incredible 
It's just so lush. Like there's moss everywhere. Everything's dripping, which I know is from the rain, but also they must get missed here a lot. Cause it's just like walking through almost like a rainforest or a jungle. Reminds me of Central America. Like look at these trees. All right, this is the McLeod River. And it's pretty huge. Wow. Well, I was gonna stop and eat dinner here because it takes water to make mashed potatoes. But the water is just so cloudy that I don't, I don't wanna filter it. Um, I'm sure my filter would work, but I don't wanna deal with it. So I've got plenty of water. I'm just gonna go on to the next source. Uh, it's, I'm trying to get to 1475-ish uh, tonight because uh, the town is at 1500. So if I can get 1475-ish, then tomorrow I'll have a 25 to get to town. Um, yeah, but it is getting a little late and I'm getting pretty hungry. Here's a close-up on the moss on this tree. It's incredible. It's on the trees over there too. 